The year is 1553. Sultan Suleiman's eldest son was invited to join his father's army near Konya. When Mustafa entered his father's tent to meet with him, Suleiman's guards attacked him. He was strangled to death after a long struggle. Mustafa was the popular successor to Suleiman, but there were also rumors about a part of the army getting ready to rebel against the Sultan for him. People blamed Sultan's legal wife, Hurum, for this unfair execution. To what extent would Hurum exert her influence to secure the throne for her sons? Hurum was originally from Ruthenia, which was then part of the Polish crown. She was born in the town of Rohatin. At the age of 16, she was captured by Crimean Tatars, who raided Eastern Europe for slaves. They brought her to Kaffa, a Crimean city where the Ottoman slave trade thrived, before she was transported to Istanbul. There, she served in the household of Zeynep Fatma Sultan, who later gifted her to Hafsa Sultan, the mother of Sultan Suleiman. She then became a concubine of Suleiman. The imperial harem of the Ottoman Empire was composed of the wives, servants, female relatives, and the Sultan's concubines. The Sultan was frequently lobbied by harem members of different ethnic or religious backgrounds to influence the geography of the Ottoman wars of conquest. The utmost authority in the imperial harem, the mother of Sultan, ruled over the other women in the household. The consorts of the Sultan were normally of slave origin. At age 17, Suleiman was appointed as the governor of Manisa. Mahidevran was listed among the 17 women of the harem of Suleiman while he was the governor. She gave birth to Suleiman's first and her only child, Mustafa, who was born in 1515 while they were in Manisa. This gave Mahidevran an elevated position. When his father died in 1520, Suleiman moved to Istanbul, the capital of the Ottoman Empire, along with his family to ascend the throne. In the Istanbul harem, Roxolana became a rival to Mahidevran and her influence over the Sultan soon became legendary. Her joyful spirit and playful temperament earned her a new name, Hurem, from Persian, which means the cheerful one. Suleiman highly cherished Mahidevran along with Hurem, but by 1526, he had stopped paying attention to her and devoted his full affection to Hurem. According to Turkish tradition, all princes were expected to work as provincial governors as a part of their training. Mustafa was sent to Manisa in 1533 in the formal ceremony and Mahidevran accompanied him. Hurem soon became Suleiman's most prominent consort. In 1521, Suleiman launched his army in mid-May. He conquered two fortresses near Belgrade and then the city itself. Same year, Hurem gave birth to her first son, Mehmed. The following year, Suleiman turned his attention to the eastern Mediterranean island of Rhodes, the home base of the Knights Hospitaller. Following a five-month siege, Rhodes capitulated. That year, Mihrimah was born in Constantinople. She would soon become the most powerful imperial princess in Ottoman history. In 1526, Suleiman launched a large invasion force of about 100,000 men. He crossed the Drava River where he encountered the Hungarian army of about 25,000 men, mostly cavalry. The battle lasted for about two hours, during which the Hungarians suffered heavy casualties and King Louis of Hungary died. Hurem gave birth to four more sons destroying Mahidevran's status as the mother of the Sultan's only son. Suleiman and Hurem's last child, Jihanga, was born with a hunchback, 
but by that time Hurum had given birth to enough healthy sons to secure the future of the Ottoman dynasty. Abdullah died at the age of three due to smallpox in Istanbul in 1528. In 1529, Suleiman marched through the valley of the Danube and laid siege to Vienna. With a reinforced garrison of 16,000 men, the Austrians inflicted the first defeat on Suleiman. Suleiman's mother, Hafsa Sultan, died in March 1534. Hurum's influence in the palace increased, and she took over the ruling of the harem. It was now possible for Hurum to marry Suleiman after the death of Hafsa Sultan, before it was unthinkable for a concubine to rise above the status of the Queen Mother. They got married in a magnificent formal ceremony. Never before had a former slave been elevated to the status of the Sultan's lawful spouse. Hurum became the first consort to receive the title Haseki Sultan. This title, used for a century, reflected the great power of imperial consorts in the Ottoman court, elevating their status higher than Ottoman princesses and making them the equals of empresses consort in Europe. Contrary to the tradition, Suleiman chose Mehmed, his second and most beloved son, as his heir with Hurum's influence. Mustafa and his mother Mahidavran were sent to Amasya. Suleiman appointed Mehmed the governor of Manisa, replacing Mustafa. Mehmed fell ill in Manisa in October 1543. He died shortly after, probably of smallpox. The following day, his body was brought to Istanbul. It was devastating for both the Sultan and Hurm. Suleiman composed an elegy for Mehmed and ended the poem with the line, most distinguished of the princes, my Sultan Mehmed. Suleiman had an inseparable friend, Pagali Ibrahim Pasha. When he was a boy, he was captured in a raid and was given as a slave to Suleiman. In the following years, Suleiman made him the royal falconer, then promoted him to first officer of the royal bedchamber. Ibrahim Pasha rose to become the Grand Vizier in 1523 and Commander-in-Chief of all the armies. Ibrahim supported Mustafa as the successor of Suleiman. This caused disputes between him and Hurum Sultan, who wanted her sons to succeed to the throne. In 1533, Suleiman ordered his Pagali Ibrahim Pasha to lead an army into Eastern Asia Minor where he retook several cities without resistance. Suleiman joined Ibrahim and they made a push towards Persia. During Ibrahim's 13 years as Grand Vizier, his rapid rise to power and vast accumulation of wealth had made him many enemies at the Sultan's court. Ibrahim eventually fell from grace with the Sultan and his wife. After a dinner with the Sultan on the 5th of March, 1536, Ibrahim Pasha went to bed. Upon arrival to his room, he was seized and killed. Thus, Hurum became the chief political advisor to her husband, the Sultan. In 1539, Hurum decided that Mihrima should be married to Rustam Pasha, governor of Diyarbakir. Rustam Pasha became Grand Vizier eight years after Ibrahim's death. Hurum and Rustam conspired against the ambitious crown prince Mustafa. Mustafa made the mistake of frequently receiving foreign ambassadors and Ottoman commanders without his father's knowledge and was regarded by them as an important ally against Suleiman. Rustam Pasha asked Mustafa to join his father's army and at the same time warned Suleiman that Mustafa was coming to kill him. When Mustafa entered his father's tent to meet with him, Suleiman's guards attacked Mustafa. After a long struggle, Mustafa was killed. Jihangir was with his father on that Iranian expedition when Mustafa was murdered. 
he was struck by shock and grief. Jihangir died in Aleppo not long after this incident. People blamed Hurum and his son-in-law Rustem, and even the Sultan himself for this unfair execution. After the protests of the army, Suleiman dismissed Rustem from his position and appointed Kara Ahmed Pasha as his Grand Vizier. But almost two years later, Kara Ahmed was strangled by Suleiman's order in September 1555. It is said that the reason for the execution was due to political maneuverings of Suleiman's legal wife, Hurum Sultan, who wanted her son-in-law Rustam to become the Grand Vizier again. After the death of Kara Ahmed, Rustam Pasha became the Grand Vizier once more. Hurum is usually held at least partly responsible for the intrigues in nominating a successor for Suleiman, though there is no evidence to support this. The two surviving brothers, Selim and Bayezid, were given command in different parts of the empire. Within a few years, however, civil war broke out between the brothers. With the aid of his father's army, Selim defeated Bayezid in Konya in 1559, leading the latter to seek refuge with the Safavids along with his four sons. In return for large amounts of gold, the Shah allowed a Turkish executioner to strangle Bayezid and his four sons in 1561, clearing the path for Selim's succession to the throne five years later. Suleiman allowed Hurum Sultan to remain with him at court for the rest of her life, breaking another tradition, that when imperial heirs came of age, they would be sent along with the imperial concubine who bore them to govern remote provinces of the empire never to return unless their progeny succeeded to the throne. Sultan Suleiman composed many poems for Hurum Sultan. In one of them he describes her as My most sincere friend, my confidant, my very existence, my Sultan, my one and only love. Hurum died on the 15th of April 1558 due to an unknown illness and was buried in a domed mausoleum in Istanbul decorated in exquisite tiles depicting the Garden of Paradise.